Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, I think I have a new deck. I tried it once, so that's a solid, solid game plan. I won with it. Yeah, the guy gave up, but that's okay. At least I won with it. Um, geez, holy cow. Um, I don't know if you guys saw uh, Clash with Ashes video on matchmaking. So Grand Challenge is interesting, interesting stuff that I did not know that you guys should know. I'm going to tell you right now, so you don't even have to go see the video, but if you have a chance and want to find out more detail, go check it out. But basically, he said the first three games, here's the deck, let me show you the deck. The first three games in your Grand Challenge are based on your prior Grand Challenge wins, um, average wins basically. So you're going to be matched up against guys that have the same average wins in past Grand Challenges as you. I'm not sure I believe that all the way, it just seems weird that... Eh, maybe, I mean, it's got to be true because he said it and he did ask somebody over Supercell. So that makes sense. The second, so the second set that you're talking about are wins uh, four through eight. Yeah, four through eight, basically. You're going to be matched up against somebody who has the same exact amount of wins as you in the Grand Challenge. So if you have six wins... They have six wins. They're going to be matched up together. It doesn't matter if you have one loss, two losses. It just matters the wins. The wins are what's important. And then after that, you have wins 9 through 12 in a Grand Challenge, something that I'll probably never see in a long, long while because it just is what it is. Oh, I should have dropped my ice gold. Um, you get matched up plus or minus one. So you could have... Um, I'm going to fireball these. Oh my gosh, did I miss? Um, you could have nine wins and be matched up hypothetically against somebody with eight wins or ten wins. And the same, th same thing goes true. If you have 12 wins, you'll be matched up with somebody with 11 wins or 12 wins. Um, and then if you have... Ah, oh crap. I've been just talking here. It's hard to play and talk at the same time, kids. But, so if you have um, 11 wins, you can be matched up with somebody who has 10 wins, 11 wins, or 12 wins. And the reason they do that is because the um, waiting pool, they want, don't want you waiting forever for a match. So if you had to wait for somebody that was matched up that exactly had 12 wins, you might be waiting a while. Because a lot of people don't, uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't get that high. Crap, stay alive, Infernal Dragon, please. No! Hit that thing. Let's throw a bandit down there. Maybe the bandit can get in front of the Infernal Dragon and whack that tower. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Bandit's staying alive. This bandit is staying alive. Come on, take that. Oh, yes. I think I'm really happy with that play, actually. So that worked out pretty decent. Um, the expo is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think I can take care of it. I do have the Dark Prince. Anyway, so that's how the Grand Challenge matchups work. Um, he did talk a little bit about ladder matchups as well. Um, basically being that... The only thing that really matters on the ladder is kind of your trophy range. You're going to be matched up with somebody in a similar trophy range at the time. And now, you see, it does not matter if your high trophy count has been 4,000, 8,000, 10,000. It just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is your trophies at the time. And then if you have um, been losing a lot of games so the magic number I guess is if you've lost three games in a row then you'll be matched up with somebody who has um, been on a losing streak as well so as long as you're three or more losses you're gonna be matched up with somebody that's three or more losses and the idea behind that is obviously they want people in the am I gonna lose this game because I'm talking uh, they want people in the loser pool to have a chance at winning so that's the idea behind that. Ooh, that was actually a great fireball on that guy's part. He rocked that. Um, so we're gonna put that down, that down, and this is not looking like a great battle. Come on, launch fireball, please, please launch. Yes, we did hold that off. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to hold the rest of this off, but we're gonna try it out, boys and girls. Uh, we gotta battle ram this. We have to battle ram this. Yes, get in there, battle ram. Uh, all we gotta do is fireball that. Boom. Those barbs will take out the tower all the way down. Come on. Yes. Yes. All he is is like a fireball away, so he could easily do this. Uh, oh crap. He's a fireball away now. Dang it! So we actually did halfway decent talking the whole way through. That didn't work out well. I'm gonna get back into another challenge. We're gonna open up this fatty two-win challenge chest. Um, 
And for some reason on ladder, I thought that if you won like 10 games in a row, you're going to be matched up with people that have won like 10 games in a row. Apparently, that is not the case. And so, just keep that in mind. So you can win until your heart's content. You can rock the winning pool. So, I've always been like, dude, I gotta lose a game or two because I don't want to be matched up with all these winners. <laughs> so I give people the benefit of the day. I just let them win. Yeah, that's not true. I just lose. Um, Alright, so he's gonna roll out with a P.E.K.K.A., which is a great move because I didn't really have anything else I could do. Um, probably should have went the other lane. I'm still gonna go other lane, actually, so he can't really back up that P.E.K.K.A. That's what I'm gonna do. Stop right there, will you? And then I am going to fireball that because those little dudes are going to be so annoying to deal with. There we go. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our Dark Prince down. And hopefully get that in front of the Inferno Dragon. Yes, yes, yes. Zap that. Boom. Mm. Yes. Zappage. Oh, crap. That Royal Ghost. I did not even think about it. But the Royal Ghost did do some damage to our tower. Not too worried about it. We're going to go minions right here. Take out that Flying Machine. Noise minions should do a little bit of damage to the tower. Noise, um, and then do we go bandit and battle ram at the bridge? I don't think so. I don't think so. But here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go bandit right here, and I still am gonna go battle ram. I guess. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, baby, take those zappies. Those zappies are beast mode cowboys, dude. They know what they're doing. Uh, honestly, they really do. Look at those guys go. Come on, dark prince, do your thing. Like, don't... Oh my gosh, embarrassing. Come on, there you go. So I'll just go Ice Golem right here. It looks like that Spear Gob was pushing the Royal Ghost, which is awesome for the Royal Ghost. Oh, let's get some minions down. It looked, I thought I thought that <laughs> my tower would take out the Royal Ghost. Did not. Did not take it out. So let's go another Bandit right here. Let's keep the pressure on. Um, that's my main goal in this. Oh, flip. That is not good. So I'm going to go Inferno Dragon right here and hopefully get it taken out. Yeah, he went minor, so that was good. But we're still going to have to defend a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Take out that flying machine. Perfect. Um, ooh, actually, this is awesome. This is good plays for us. We're going to fireball that, too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! We were so close to getting the ghost, too, in that play. That would have been so sick. So sick. But didn't work out. That's okay. We're going to go like this. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go Inferno Dragon. Uh, Dark Prince over here just to distract the P.E.K.K.A. Because it looks like my tower is uh, distracted and I probably will go ahead and fireball that. Oh, looks like I don't need to. Don't need to fireball because the minions will take out that flying machine, hopefully. Uh, yes, let's go Battle Ram. What? You got a shot off, girlfriend? We're going to zap that. I don't care. Um, there we go. This match is turning out a little bit better. Let's push that miner. Oh, no. I did not push the miner. I don't know what I was thinking. So, we still are rocking that tower's world. Holy cow. <laughs> that worked out a little bit better than the last game. Able to focus a little bit more on the game. Instead of thinking about challenge matchups. Let's do another game. Let's get one more game here. Oh, I'm stressed out. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> one win in a grand challenge and I'm stressed to the max. I'm mostly stressed because... Oh, level 8. This is going to be great. So we can practice here, hopefully. If we lose, that's embarrassing. I'm going to delete this video. So, don't let me lose. Alright, so we're going to go like this. We're going to let that uh, royal uh, golem get, come our way. It's royal. It's definitely royal. And it looks like, oh, level 5 Valkyrie. That's kind of cool, actually. So let's go... Um, yeah, I know. It was well played. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's go Ice Golem here just to, like, basically distract. Oh, dude, that sucks, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was so bad. That was so bad. We're going to hit this side up just because we can. And then we're going to hit this side up with, uh... Oh! Oh! No! No! That was actually a great play on his part. What? Did that bandit, like, not do any damage to that tower hardly at all? Oh, yeah, she did some damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. Do you guys see? That skeleton army was a great play on his part. He knew what he was doing. So that worked out pretty well for him. That, on the other hand, was not a great play. <laughs> his Valkyrie got just absolutely obliterated, which is awesome. Let's go Ice Golem right here. And then we'll go... 
Let's go Dank Prince right here. Um, he's got another set of Spear Goblins coming our way, which not too worried about. Um, right somewhere there. And then he'll zap. Then we're going to go zap that. Yes. Perfect. Let's get another Bandit in there. Perfect. I'm really going to focus on taking out towers here, people. Yes. Yes, that tower's going down. That's gone. And then we'll take out the Mega Minion is of a high level, level 5, so rocking it. And then we'll go Battle Ram probably most likely over here just to finish this out. It looks like he's done. Dunzo. So let's go Battle Ram. Uh, we'll go Dark Prince. And then we'll go Zap. Oh, no. Nicely done with that. Let's get our uh, Inferno Dragon back here. We'll go Bandit up here. And then we'll go... He's got to be done, right? He's got to be done. Let's go like this. Oh, nicely done. Skeleton army coming our way. Boom. Did not even need to zap it. Didn't even need to zap it. But the bandit and the dark prince are going to do enough damage over there on the king tower. So we finish that out nice and strong. Wow. Um, so excited. Gosh, I just don't know what they're going to do. They have not given us any information on clan wars really besides what they've given us. So kind of looking forward to that. I have a super magical chest in nine chests, I think, or something like that. So that's going to be happening soon on the channel. Thank you guys so much for dropping by today. If you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe. Take it easy and good luck. Peace.